catch up on a little project that I did a while back and also respond to some uh, excellent questions and comments from uh, the Lake Erie sailing video. One of the goals that I've had with this boat is that it can be a simple rig and easily convertible into sort of a little rowboat or little power boat to take people out uh, not just a sailboat, although that's what I love about it. And so people have asked about the strength of this uh, rig with a stainless mast being supported only, you know, through the mast step and then the hole in the forward thwart here. And uh, it's massively reinforced, certainly has been a concern of mine, and the, st the, the size of the mast itself is pretty substantial. It's two and three quarters at the base. And with the stress at the contact point with the gaff uh, up there, also I didn't taper it too much. It only goes down to about two and a quarter inches at the top. So I was very cognizant of the, uh, you know, the, the the poor leverage point when you don't have anything else bracing it, no stays. But that's just wanted to explain. That's my design goal there, uh, because without any uh, further complications for bracing the mast through here without stays to put up. It's a quick, simple rig. When the sail is not on here, this is a very useful little place for people to sit. So uh, I'll just explain how I redid uh, this sleeve to improve the wear on the mast. And now the big question is, can I get a really clean hole in exactly the right spot? So I'm going to try to remark the center down there on top of the mast step and just try to use 90 degrees from the thwart as the reference and see where that lands. All right, marks by running the square eyesight down to that center line and then lining that up with the center lines on the hole clamp this in place and in theory we'll cut it, we'll see Lord help me I'm bring the boat see purple on this thing. This end will be hidden. But after uh, contouring the edges there, which is kind of the main point of protecting the mass going in and out of this hole, while I was looking around in here, I realized I'm not comfortable with those limber holes. Uh, do this again. One of the lessons would be to 
make them bigger, more visible. Uh, this is the most uh, danger of rot, I think, in the whole boat because you routinely don't look in here, it gets wet, moisture's trapped underneath all the foam a little bit. I went ahead and doubled the height, which means cutting into new wood that's not protected. And so uh, epoxied up into that, put some putty to make sure the water is directed over into those limber holes and a little bit of epoxy down along the uh, underside of the mast step and along the keelson down in here too just to make sure we're really sealed watertight before this all goes back together and then uh, once that cures do a little bit of final sanding and uh, another coat of urethane here and a little bit of urethane on top of the new epoxy.